Ryan Cook's lecture at Moody Theological Seminary offers a comprehensive exploration of the theology of kingship in ancient Israel, emphasizing its significance among various leadership roles like prophets, priests, and judges. He accentuates the centrality of the concept of kingship, not just as a historical or cultural phenomenon, but as a pivotal theological motif in understanding the nature and revelation of God in the biblical narrative. Cook begins by addressing the relevance of ancient kingship to contemporary audiences. He acknowledges the potential disconnect in a modern context where the concept of a physical king may seem archaic. However, he argues that understanding this concept is crucial, as it provides insight into how God communicated his nature and will to the Israelites in culturally relevant terms. This approach is consistent with other biblical themes like covenant, where God uses familiar concepts but transforms them to reveal deeper spiritual truths. Also, the lecture delves into the characteristics of kingship in the ancient Near East, informed by scholarly research, particularly the work of Thomas Ishida. Cook outlined several key features of kingship during that era. Divine election was paramount, with kings believed to be chosen by gods. This was also true for Israel, where prophets anointed kings according to God's guidance, culminating in the New Testament with John the Baptist's designation of Jesus as the Messiah, the ultimate fulfillment of the Israelite kingship ideal. Moreover, another characteristic was the designation of kings through popular assembly, often following military victories. This mirrors the biblical accounts of Saul and David, although Israel's narrative also affirms deviations from this pattern asserting God's sovereignty in the selection process. Furthermore, Cook discusses the practice of dynastic succession, where kingship was passed down within a family, a practice common in Israel and its surrounding cultures. In addition, a vital aspect of ancient kingship, as highlighted by Cook, was the role of the king as a military leader and a lawgiver. Kings were expected to lead armies and establish legal codes, like the famous Code of Hammurabi in Mesopotamia. In contrast, Israel's view of kingship differed significantly. The Israelite king was not merely a military or legislative leader. His primary role was to lead the nation in obedience to Yahweh's covenant. This distinct perspective is encapsulated in the Deuteronomic Law for Kings, which stipulates the king's adherence to the law and his responsibility to guide the nation according to God's covenant. Further, Cook addresses the nuanced biblical perspective on kingship. While the Old Testament predominantly supports the concept of a monarchy, there are critical passages, especially in the books of Samuel, that suggest a more ambivalent or even negative view of kingship. These passages often depict kingship as a concession by God to Israel's demands rather than an ideal form of governance. This ambivalence within the biblical text reflects a complex theological grappling with the concept of kingship and its implications for Israel's relationship with God. In concluding, Cook indicates the theological significance of the kingship motif in understanding the broader narrative of Scripture. He contends that the development of kingship theology in Israel is not just about historical or cultural evolution, it's about understanding how this concept foreshadows and culminates in the person and work of Jesus Christ. Jesus, as the Messianic King, fulfills the ideal of the Israelite King, leading his people in obedience to God, embodying the covenant faithfulness that Israel's kings were meant to uphold. The lecture thus presents the theology of kingship as a central thread in the biblical narrative from the ancient Israelite context to its fulfillment in the New Testament. Cook's exploration maintains the transformative power of God's revelation through culturally relevant symbols and institutions, and how these are reinterpreted in the light of Christ. By understanding the historical and cultural context of kingship in the ancient world, one gains a deeper appreciation of the biblical theme of God as king and the messianic hope centered in Jesus providing a comprehensive theological framework for interpreting Scripture and understanding God's redemptive plan.